everybody. I'm so excited to talk to you about one of my very favorite artists today, and his name is Pablo Picasso. Let me show you a picture of him. Now, Pablo Picasso is an artist from Spain. He was born in 1881 and lived to be 91 years old, passed away in 1973. And then those 91 years of life, he created 50,000 works of art. That's like a combination of paintings, ceramics, drawings, all different kinds. Now, I wore this dress because it really reminds me of one of the art movements that he had started. Now, an art movement is a type of art done or type of style that's done by several different artists kind of catch on to it. Now, Pablo Picasso, along with another artist, George Broke, started an art movement called known as Cubism, which is one of the most famous ones there is. Um, cubism is when the art is being um, broken, like, broken down to like a two-dimensional flat surface of the picture plane. So, like, very... Um, like abstract looking, not so realistic. You'll see a lot of geometric shapes in it. Here's some examples of Pablo Picasso's cubism. Now look at these faces. So when you look at these faces that he does, he has both the profile view and the side view in one face. Now profile view is the side view of your face where the front view is obviously the front. Now it's physically impossible to see both your profile and front view at the same time, but he puts those in his portraits that he creates and notice how it, they're a little messed up where like one eyeball is like really high maybe facing the wrong way the other one's lower you see some of those geometric shapes so this is his cubism artwork right here now Pablo Picasso was also very famous because he was always willing to push buttons and be a risk taker in art he was always changing style materials he was using he didn't ever want to do the regular thing everyone else was doing and he actually like paved the way, was one of the leading artists that paved the way for modern art, which is really crazy. Um, he's basically one of the most well-known artists of the 20th century. So um, one of his artworks I thought would be perfect for our theme of birds for this week is his rooster painting. Now you can notice the cubism in there. You get your profile and your front um, view. But look at this rooster. How often do you see roosters that look like this? You never do, right? Really crazy. Um, but a couple fun facts, obviously. Well, we know that a rooster is, you know, the male of the chicken. And he makes that noise. Like, cock -a -doo -doo -doo. He roams around and he um, is the ones that helps the hens have eggs, lay the eggs. So, um... I thought it'd be fun to create these crazy little roosters based on Pablo Picasso's rooster artwork. And this is an example right here of mine. Something else I want to tell you too that's interesting about Pablo Picasso. His name, boys and girls, is actually 23 words long. His full name. He was named after many saints and um, relatives in his family. So that's kind of crazy. Another really cool fact about him, his first word was pencil. Are you kidding me? It's like he was born to be an artist. His first word is pencil. It's amazing. You know, most people, their first word is like mama, dada, dada, dad. But pencil? It's crazy. And he definitely is known as a genius in the art world. Um, but here is a rooster that we're going to create. Now, yours can be any color, any style you want. I'm going to go over the directed drawing part of it, and then you're going to go from there. Now, materials you're going to be needing, anything to color with. Okay, you're going to want a pencil, probably to draw your rooster first. I draw mine with a marker. You're welcome to do that. You just can't fix your mistakes, which is okay, because when I make mistakes, I just turn them into something new. And making mistakes is how we learn, right? I mean, right. So um, you can use anything you have at home for coloring this. Um, crayons, you know, crayons, colored pencils, markers, oil pencils, whatever you have. I'm kind of, in my picture, I use a combination of crayons and markers. You can see the brighter color is coming from the markers. So let's get started. Oh, oh, you also need white paper, guys. All right, now let's get started. Okay, so just looking back at that rooster again, um, to kind of have an idea, there's another rooster on here that he also did a drawing of. Um, but we need to do the whole body. We're going to start with the beak. Oh. Alright, so I'm starting by drawing like a backward C. I'm going to show you another way to draw this as well, just to give you more ideas. You could also make it like a, um, you know, a sideways V. Okay, now I'm going to draw, for the one that I did with the C shape, another C inside of it. Backward C, that is. And then for the other one, I'll do another V inside of it. Now 
Now I'm gonna start with the head of the rooster by making a curved line that goes down. It's gonna give us a head and a little bit of neck. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one. And of course you can change it up a little bit. You can make it a little bit skinnier, smaller of a head, bigger of a head. Now I'm gonna make a line that curves down for the body. And then um, I'll go up by the beak and start a straight line for the head and the neck and then curve around for the other part of the body. Now on this other rooster, I think I'm gonna make the body a little shaped, maybe a little different, a little bit bigger. So you can do yours however you want. I add the eyes and I'm just doing the one with a dot and a circle around it. And then my other, I'm gonna change the shape of the eye a little bit. So you can really do whatever eye, whatever kind of eye you want on these. And now this next eye I'm gonna make even bigger, just like Pablo Picasso did with his chicken. It kind of like changes it up, makes it a little crazy, like his art. Now looking back at the rooster, we know we need some other elements, like the, the top, feathers on the head, the tail, um, wings, we need some more of those details. So now on this one, I'm just gonna do basically like a jumping line, little curves for the top. On this one, I'm gonna do a little different, make it a little zigzaggy. So however you wanna do that, go for it. Be creative. You can even have it curve in so it looks like a mohawk or some crazy hairdo. So now I wanna add a tail, so I'm doing like a jumping line again on this one. On the other side, I'm gonna make it like I did with the other one, a little zigzaggy. Now I'm just going to add some wings on the side of each of my roosters. And now I'm going to add the feet. So I'm going to draw two parallel lines next to each other. And then I'm going to draw diagonal lines off on each end. Then come inside and then draw basically a V in the middle. And that will give you the feet. So once again, two parallel lines. Draw two diagonal lines two diagonal lines inside those lines, and then a V. Now looking back on the colors and the designs of this rooster, I'm gonna start to do something similar to that on mine, but you can really decorate yours however you want. On mine, I'm just kind of using a similar um, color combination to, and design as Pablo Picasso did, but I might change it up a little bit. I'm going to use a combination of both crayons and markers on mine, so I'm just doing that. Okay, now I do need to add the little like tongue that's coming out and then the the feather like headdress. So I'm gonna add that now. I'm just gonna draw um, basically like a little triangle shape and then draw the inside of the mouth and then draw a line for that um, headdress of feathers. I also need to draw that little like goblet thingy. <laughs> so I'm drawing that on mine as well before I continue to color this. I'm also gonna add some, just a little ground line, a little bit of grass on mine. You don't have to do this, it's completely up to you. I'm not gonna have it go across the whole paper, just a little touch of ground line with maybe a few rocks in the grass.
it's all done. And looking back at Picasso's rooster, mine is definitely influenced by his art. And we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Enjoy.